Cara, can I start with you about what your first reaction was at the idea of taking on the lead part in such a huge project? It was crazy. I think just to hear that Luc Besson wanted to sit down and meet with me was completely insane. Um, I've grown up watching his films, The Fifth Element, The Professional, you know, watching all these incredible female actresses play these wonderful characters. Um, just the opportunity to meet him was incredible. And then, of course, quite soon after being cast in the role of Laureline, especially doing the film that Luke's wanted to make his entire life. Um, him being so excited about it and literally being able to describe every detail so specifically, I knew from that moment that I had to do this role. And Dane, um, audiences would know you maybe best with more independent, uh, more serious roles. So how did you feel about taking on this massive role? Sort of a different character for you, but also obviously a massive CGI world. Yeah, well, I'm always looking to do something different, you know, and I'm always looking to challenge myself in different ways. And I have done a lot of different genres of movies, but I definitely have never done a space opera until now, you know, and this was my chance to play the hero, an uncomplicated hero. Um, but more exciting was just working with Luc Besson on the movie he's wanted to make his entire life and watching that dream come true for him and being able to be a part of that. You know, that that was the appeal of this film. And Cara, I heard that you had a pretty grueling audition process. Can you tell us what was um, involved in that? There wasn't really an audition process at all. It was more um, sitting down with Luke, having breakfast, talking about our lives and fears and dreams, and then meeting him in Paris for about two, three hours and kind of doing drama school games, um, pretending to be an animal or dancing to a song without any music. Uh, I think it was more about the trust um, and kind of knowing as a director that he had my complete trust and that, you know, you kind of will give yourself over um, to being a part, you know. And Dane, uh, no, no, he said that he wanted, uh, he wanted you from the moment he heard you say hi, <laughs> which is really lovely. Hi. So, um, How did you say hi? <laughs> yeah. Hi. That was it. Yeah. Cast. Um, so, yeah, what was the other preparation involved for, for doing this? Well, I mean, mostly for me it was a physical preparation. You know, obviously... When I got cast and I went back to the comic books and I read as many of them as I could find and tried to get, you know, more familiar with Valerian, who he's always been. But also uh, it was important to me that I looked like Valerian and I felt like Valerian, and, you know, I looked like I could save the universe. So there was a ton of training involved where mm -hmm. I pretty much trained for two hours a day every day, three months prior to the filming and then for the six months of filming. So by the end of the nine months, I was definitely in the shape of Ripped, my life. As people would say. And Rihanna's glam pod is one of my favorite characters. Um, mm. Dane, how did it feel to have a, a private performance from her, which something that her fans would pay hundreds for? Yeah, it was pretty sweet, you know? I mean, pretty undeniably cool. It was the first, like, two weeks of filming. I knew I was going to Paris to get a private dance show from Rihanna and was, everything was supposed to be you know fairly confidential we signed like confidentiality agreements but that's something I couldn't help but tell people and everyone it's I told hard was, secret to keep they were pretty imagine. jealous for sure yeah. um, and just finally Cara I can't not ask you about your song with Pharrell Williams mm -hmm. uh, how did that come about and, and how amazing was he to work with I mean incredible I think Pharrell is a genius being able to work with I feel like Luke and Frail, two people who've really given me a chance and really believed in, in my potential or my dreams, I guess. Um, I started working with Frail about three years ago, I think, and it was the first song I ever did with him in the studio. I came in, um, was completely nervous. He kind of sits there, lays down a track, and I wrote and recorded it in that day, and that's exactly the same song that Luke used in the movie three years later. So it was mad. I mean, the fact that Luke even wanted to hear my music and then ended up putting one of them in the film was really crazy. Amazing. An absolute pleasure, Cara and Dane. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.